right guys today is the 3rd of february we've got that cyclone warning that's approaching the east coast of south africa and mozambique it's half past five in the afternoon seeing that the cyclone is going to be hitting the the east coast of, of south africa and mozambique uh, the beaches have been closed I don't think fishing is going to be possible. It's currently high tide now at 5.30 in the afternoon. The wind surfers are out. The wind speed has picked up to 31 kilometers an hour. I am going to do some cyclone tracking this weekend. Just to show everybody that's inland what may happen and how the ocean is going to react. There are a few guys fishing at Amshloti at Healy's Rock. horizon looks quite dark guys I can actually only see one ship out there in the distance on the left hand side of Amshoti Beach. The tide just turned 10 minutes ago. That's La Mercy Beach in the distance. It's not unbearable out here but let's let's see what what the cyclone actually does and how it affects the ocean. Let's see how this weekend pans out guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and follow. Cheers guys. Thursday, 3rd of February. It's a half past nine at night. I'm searching for cyclone tracker. I found a website called Zoom Earth. It's a live storm tracker. So currently the storm, the tropical storm Cyclone Batsaray is approaching Madagascar. And according to this website, the storm's epicenter is about 215 kilometers per hour. This cyclone is expected to reach the eastern coastline of Madagascar on Saturday at 2 p.m. at a speed of 155 kilometers per hour. Looking at the colors of the lines, they estimate that this cyclone will pass through Madagascar at a speed of 155 kilometers per hour looking at the orange color. It's estimated that this cyclone would reach the western coast on Sunday at 2 o'clock. The storm is expected to pass Maputo and make its way downwards. When it reaches the coastline of Maputo, the epicenter is going to be around 95 kilometers per hour. And it should, it should slow down when it's passing Durban. So guys, looking at this tropical storm, Madagascar is going to need the world to pray for them. Although 
I'm tracking the, the, the coastlines close to to where I live, which is Amshloti Beach, and the impact of this cyclone on the local beaches where we fish. Let's let's send a lot of praise to Madagascar. It it's not looking pretty, guys. Let's see how things pan out.